before we begin our mass for desi the family would like to bring symbols of desi's life Garrett is bringing up this wedding picture which represents a very special day in dad's life when he married his sweetheart Kathleen. John is bringing up this tractor representing dad's love of farming and the outdoors. Sinead brings up St. Bridget's cross, which represents Dad's faith and devotion to St. Bridget. Days is bringing up Dad's cap, which symbolizes his endless hours of hard work on the farm. We will place two Christian symbols on the coffin now, the Bible and a crucifix. In life, does he cherish the gospel of Christ? May Christ now greet him with these words of eternal life. Come, blessed of my Father. In baptism, the same received the sign of the cross. May he now share in Christ's victory over sin and death. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good afternoon, everybody. And I welcome to you St. Bridget's Chapel, Kilkari, for the funeral mass of the same. On behalf of the family, I would like to welcome those of you as you are watching the Seas Funeral Mass live from St. Bridget's Chapel, Kilkari, as you cannot be present here because of the coronavirus, we have gathered here today, we have gathered together today to remember the same. Today, in the midst of our sadness of the fact that the sea is no longer with us, we can take comfort in the fact that we know that the sea is with Jesus. And when all is said and done, that is all that matters in life. We are saddened that this is time to die has come, but at the same time we are grateful that his suffering has ended. We pray for the repose of his soul, and we also pray for the consolation of his grieving family. We now begin our Mass for Desi by placing ourselves in the presence of God, and asking forgiveness for our sins. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the hope of all who turn to you. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the way that leads us to the Father's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O 
O God, who through the ending of present things open up the beginning of things to come, grant we pray that the soul of your servant Desim may be led by you to attain the inheritance of eternal redemption through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading. To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill, and a time to heal. A time to break down, and a time to build up. A time to weep, and a time to laugh. A time to mourn, and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get, and a time to lose. A time to keep, and a time to cast away. A time to rend, and a time to sow. A time to keep silence, and a time to speak. A time to love, and a time to hate. A time of war, and a time of peace. God has made everything suitable for its time. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Second reading, death is nothing at all. I have only slipped away to the next room. I am I, and you are you. Whatever we were to each other, that we still are. Call me by my old familiar name. Speak to me in the easy way which you always used. Put no difference into your tone. Wear no forced air of sadness or sorrow. 
Laugh as we always laughed at the little jokes we enjoyed together. Play, smile, think of me, pray for me. Let my name be ever the household word that it always was. Let it be spoken with that effect, without the trace of a shadow on it. Life means all that it ever meant. It is the same that it ever was. There is an absolute, unbroken continuity. Why should I be out of mind because I'm out of sight? I am but waiting for you for an interval, somewhere very near, just around the corner. All is well. Nothing is past, nothing is lost. One brief moment and all will be as it was before, only better, infinitely happier, and forever we will all be one together with Christ. This is the word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. There are many rooms in my father's house. If there were not, I should have told you. I am going now to prepare a place for you, and after I have gone and prepared you a place, I shall return to take you with me, so that where I am you may be too. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated for a few minutes. The tall white candle, the Paschal candle, stands beside the coffin at every funeral mass. We call it the Paschal candle because we light it on Easter Sunday. And there are five grains of incense inserted in it, symbolizing the five wounds of Jesus, the two wounds in his hands, the two in his legs, and the wound in his side. It is very symbolic that this candle stands beside the coffin during every funeral mass. It is almost as if Jesus is standing beside the coffin, looking up his father and pleading on behalf of the sea, saying, Look, I bore these wounds in my body for the salvation of the sin. I suffered, I died, and I rose again for him. Also in the Paschal candle, above the five grains of incense, there is the first letter of the Greek alphabet alpha, and below the five grains of incense, there is the last letter omega. In other words, Jesus is the beginning and end of all we do and same. If it were not for Jesus' suffering, those five wounds, dying and rising, life would not have meaning. But Jesus was the beginning and end of the sea's life, and is the beginning and end of all our lives. It is he who gives meaning to our lives, especially in times of suffering. The sea will be sadly missed by his children, John, Valerie, John, Garrett, Susan, and us, 
and grandchildren Cornel, Emma, Shannon, Caitlin, Garrett, Charlotte, Kayleen, Des, Ryan, Jack, Connor, Kate and Eve, and deceased sister Angela McNamee, his son-in-law, daughters-in-law, brother-in-law, nephews, nieces, relatives and friends. The sad time has come for us to take leave of the sea in one sense. Yet our faith tells us that death does, death does not have the final word. We have heard the words of Jesus in today's gospel. There is the abide, that is the abiding promise. There is the abiding promise that the Lord has prepared a place for the same. May this, may this the same Lord be with us in our grief and assure us of his strength, consolation and peace. Eternal rest grant unto the sea, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Now can I ask those who are doing the prayers of the faithful to come forward, please. Christ says to us, Come to me, all you who labor and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Let us come to Christ with our prayers, confident that he will listen to them. We pray for all who knew and loved Dad, that they may draw inspiration from his life. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all who mourn today and for those who cannot be with us, that they will receive strength to assist them in their sadness and grief. Lord, hear us. Lord, We pray for those who cared for Desi, that all of them will be rewarded for their kindness and care. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We remember all who have died, especially Desi's wife Kathleen, parents Edward and Margaret, son-in-law Damien and grandson Aaron. Today, may they enjoy the promises of eternal life. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for Dad that he may be at peace with Christ in heaven. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Dad showed much love for others in this life, especially his family. May he now experience the loving mercy of God. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Now let us pray through the intercession of Mary, our Heavenly Mother, for deceased family, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord, may you support us all day long, till the shadows lengthen and evening falls. And the busy world is hushed, and the fever of life is over, and our work is done. Then, in your mercy, grant us a safe lodging, a holy rest, and peace at last. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We have the offertory procession now, please.
Prem, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look favorably on our offerings, O Lord, so that your departed servant seem may be taken up into the glory with your Son in whose great mystery of love we are all united through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hands. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended, and when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hordes and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving him thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, 
take this all of you and drink from me for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and the blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Saint Brigitte, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and the salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, and Amen and Michael our bishops, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant Desi, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh of those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always let us pause for a moment and pray for peace in our world peace in our homes and peace in our hearts this minute we have the glory and the power of our lord jesus christ to be the one who does for us every day Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall, my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
So, as many of you might know, Desi had a gift for writing a bit of poetry. And he wrote pieces for many happy family occasions. And the gift has been passed down to Valerie and onwards to Connell. And Connell has put together a short 24 verse poem for his granddad on behalf of the grandchildren. So, a man who worked hard each and every day, be it milking the cows or cutting the hay, five o'clock, Jesus, it's time for the tea. Sorry, Father. Selling calves and growing spuds, same effort in sunshine or in the floods, the work always brought home the goods. To keep the family fed and warm, everybody in good form, safe and protected through every storm. Soup and potatoes was the treat. Enough of it we could not eat. Sit by the fire and warm your feet. Kindness and love did never lack. I drove the wee tractor around the back, long days outside having the crack. Running down to the stile, you lifted us down. Hold on to the chain. Granny would have gone to town on our best behavior. No acting the clown. Inside was for eating and sleeping, that's all. Do you remember the time in the yard I did fall? I let out a roar and then the call. On with the duds and off we go. Covered in muck from head to toe, you scraped it off me with a knife like a pro. He never showed his tiredness to us. A story tonight, granddad, we would suss. He'd tell a funny story without any fuss. A storyteller like long ago, our imagination continued to flow, then off to sleep we would go. For every word and detail he said, we were gripped and couldn't go to bed. He'd tell me to close my eyes and rest my head. Stories of animals down and, and in the farm, us pretending to be asleep, keeping our eyes peeled, not long after those eyes were firmly sealed. The laughter with each colourful word, he whispered the bad ones not to be heard, forever in our memory, treasured and stored. Visiting the shrine on the first day of spring, following the car with the women who pray and sing, it was St. Bridget's, our prayers we do bring. We used to look for the milkman's light through the kitchen window on each dark night. I was blown away by the range of his sight. We have grown up and remember so well all the stories that you did tell. The bull and the fox into the dung he fell. Now it's our stories that you want to hear. Joking, come on down to Cuse's for a beer. Always asking about work in my career. Brought Neve to see you both. Stay a while, take off your coat. The jokes you told and the poems you wrote. The wee grey Trent 20, it caught your eye. You didn't quit till it was mine to buy. It was brought to Cooley by the guys. When Granny died, it broke your heart. Together so long, you had to part. Organizing your care, where would we start? I know it was hard when you lost your sight. Though you had determination and the might, you rarely complained of your difficult plight. A fuzzy was how we said good night. Your bristly beards used to give us a fright. Raw faces gone homes, but our smiles were bright. Thank you for all you did for me, your struggles for the family. I hope that once again you will see. Granny will greet you and walk you in. You will take her hand and dance again. May it last forever and ever. Amen. Well done, Cole.
Just a few words about our dad. Dad was a wonderful and loving husband, a proud father, a great character, a hard worker who always found a job for you, no matter what time of the day it was. Dad loved his family, and we all miss him dearly. On behalf of my brothers, John, Garrett, Des, sisters, Joan, Susan, and myself, we would like to thank Dr. McCartney, Dr. Lahar, Maura, and her team for Dad's medical care. We also want to thank Peter and Junjun for helping us care for Dad at home, and Father Venid for his many visits to Dad, and finally, McGill's funeral directors. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will not die forever. Alleluia. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that your servant Desim, for whom we have celebrated this Paschal Sacrament, may pass over to a dwelling place of light and peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us remain in the peace of Christ. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Now we will sprinkle the coffin with the holy water, reminding us of our own baptism and deceased baptism. And then we will incense the coffin as a way of honoring the remains of the seam. Saints of God, come to his aid, hasten to meet him, angels of the Lord. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. May Christ who called you take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Desim in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. 
Mercy, we give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon the sea in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and we are with you and with our brother forever. Amen. In peace, let us take our brother to his place of rest. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. Thank you.